What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Now, real quick before I get into this, man, something I noticed early on into the slates yesterday. Okay, it was a big slate. Tons of options out there, guys. Tons of different players and different options and different ways to do your lineup out there, right? There were 40 plus of my exact lineup inside of the dollar entry tournament, inside the $3 entry tournament, everywhere, in every fucking tournament. There were a shit ton of my exact lineups, guys. Okay? When I do this live, I do it to help you guys out, and I do it as best I can to give you guys as big of an advantage against these sharks as I possibly can, you know? So we all can talk about it and give everybody ideas on what we want to do and, and the best ideas of going about things, right? Yesterday's lineup was definitely fire, yes. Okay? But you got to switch things up. Like if I do, like from now on, I'm obviously, because if DraftKings would have noticed how many identical lineups to mine there was, they would definitely come at me over the shit. So I'm not about to put myself on the line and not be able to play this shit anymore because you guys, y'all, and y'all know who I'm talking to. A lot of y'all switch things up, okay? But the ones who use my exact lineup that I tell you guys towards the end, you don't do research all day, you don't do shit, you don't look up your own shit, none of, nothing. You just wait till the end of the day when I post mine and you roll with it and hope for the best. And if it doesn't hit you, bitch, if it hits, you're happy. Okay, we're, we're that all that's going to have to fucking change starting now, okay? When I do my videos, I'm going to set the lineup like I normally do. But as you know, things change throughout the day, so this is not set in stone. But this is what I like as of now, okay? Do not copy this exactly, okay? It's not that hard. Switch a few players around. You do not have to be identical, all right? Now, I'm not going to be posting my exact lineup on Twitter anymore. I can't do it. I cannot do it. So the people who were living off of identically copying my, my thing is not going to work out. Tonight, I will not be going live because I will be late at work. Okay? What I will do, guys, about 10 to 20 minutes before tip-off, I'll give you guys some, some my value play of the day. I'll give you guys three plays out of my lineup. Okay? And I'll give you guys three of them. The rest, or I'm going to give you three or four of them. And then the rest, you're going to have to work out on your own. I cannot post the, the lineup for sure anymore because there's too many vultures out there just taking the shit, not doing any research themselves at all, and running with it, okay? It's not going to affect y'all. They're going to come after me over it, all right? And I'm not about to deal with it, okay? So let's get right into this lineup. Remember, change some fucking picks around, all right? Learn from this. I'm here to help y'all learn, not just hand handouts, not just sit here and give handouts, okay? I'm here to help y'all learn, okay? Nothing in life is free. There's nothing you can do that just takes stuff from somebody and get money off of it and it's free, okay? Other than what I'm doing right now, okay? I'm giving you guys free advice and I was pretty much giving y'all free suggested lineups, okay? But, you, but a lot of you were taking advantage. So now things are going to have to change, all right? Now, let's get straight into this lineup today, man. At point guard, Russell Westbrook is somebody I'm not going after. First of all, he's 12-7. Now, if Cleveland had all of their stars there, like if they were going to have Kyrie, LeBron, uh, and Kevin Love, I would say roll with it. All right? I would say roll with it. But in this case, I think OKC possibly blows them out at home um, against Cleveland with none of their stars. So I love James Harden against Charlotte, guys. James Harden against Charlotte, he got like 74 against them previously. So he's going to boss up. At shooting guard... I love C.J. McCollum. I love Batum. Fournier against Philly. There's nobody to stop him there. Oladipo, once again, this game's going to be a blowout, but I do like Oladipo against shooting guards, okay? Now, because they're going to be losing so much offensive firepower, Kyle Korver is a great play, guys. Kyle Korver, and on top of that, I'm going to give you another one. Our man, Richard Jefferson. All right, both of them are great plays, okay? I love both of them as great plays tonight. Now, at the power forward position, Kevin Love will not play. Serge Ibaka is a, the, the best option at power forward today. Ilya Sova should do good, but he's going to be matched up with Ibaka, so that's a little tough on him. I love Marvin Williams against Houston, guys. Houston has been struggling big time down low. It's a great situation for Mar Marvin Williams to get some boards. He, he, he should do very well tonight, okay, in a high-scoring game against Houston, okay? 
Now, at center, as we know, Andrew Bogut is still out, guys. Rudy Gobert is going to fuck Dallas up, okay? Rudy is going to fuck Dallas up down low, guys. He's going to get every single rebound. He is going to do fantastic. Now, at the guard position, guys, I talked about him earlier. I love C.J. McCollum against this Boston defense, man. Boston struggles against guards. They struggle against guards, and I love this Portland-Boston game, man. I love this game, all right? Now, at this forward position, here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys this because this is obvious. Vucevic against Philly, guys. It's an obvious play. you got to play Vucevic against Philly. He's going to dominate Okafor and dominate Noel. Either one of them. It doesn't matter. It's going to be an easy game for him. Okay, but Philly's going to keep up. Orlando's defense is not too great. All right, so Philly should stay in this. It should be a decent game. And left at 3,500, guys. As you know, all these starters missing for Cleveland. There's a lot of people who are going to have to step up. I love Channing Frye. I love Channing Frye. I love Jefferson, and I love Corver stack for the Cleveland game. Okay, because they're going to have play a shit ton of minutes, and they're going to have to step up if they're going to have any chance of even keeping it close against OKC. All right, I love Vucevic. Uh, Gobert, Vucevic, McCollum, and Harden are my must-play fours, guys. Everything else you can work out yourself. Harden, Gobert, McCollum, and Vucevic. Those four guys, okay? Stack the rest of your team around those four guys, and you will have a great night tonight, all right, guys? Now, once again, hit me up on Twitter, Cam underscore ATL. Like this video. Let's get it to 100. Subscribe to the channel down below, guys, and like I said, I will not be posting my exact lineup anymore, guys, because too many people took advantage. So I will post my top value play and four of my starting players in my lineup on there but the rest you're gonna have to wing yourself okay because you gotta understand if DraftKings catches it they will shut my shit down and I'm not trying to get my shit shut down just because I'm trying to help people learn you know what I'm saying I'm trying to help you guys learn I'm here to help you guys progress and be better DFS players period not just not do anything yourself and just mooch off of me for free because in that case to those people I should just charge your ass if y'all if y'all just want to fucking line up exactly for me cuz I make like 50 a day. If y'all want just to line up exactly for me, hit me up and we'll work something out, but it's not going to just be handed to you for free because it's not worth me getting my shit shut down. All right? So, let's get it. Shout out to the DFS squad once again. Like this video, get it over 100 likes. Go get you a cash me uh goddamn Cash me outside if you, whatever. Cash me outside shirt. Go get a cash me outside shirt. DFS squad. Only $15, man. Go scoop one up right now. And I'm out.